Breaking news tonight at 6. New images of former President Donald Trump showing him arriving at Trump Tower late this afternoon, waving to supporters outside. Good evening. I'm Dana Tyler. Dick Brennan is off. Former President Trump is back in the city to face charges in connection to an alleged hush fund money payment to an adult film star, Stormy Daniels. The ex-president will spend the night in Trump Tower ahead of his historic arraignment in Lower Manhattan tomorrow afternoon. He descended the stairs of his private plane at LaGuardia at about 3.44 this afternoon. A motorcade then took him to his private residence on Fifth Avenue. We have team coverage of the Trump indictment. We start with CBS 2's Alice Scanner live outside Trump Tower. Alice. Dana, pretty quiet out here right now. Earlier, a few dozen supporters and anti-Trump demonstrators were gathered, but they have since left. So far, all security plans in place here have kept everything calm and orderly. Donald Trump entered Trump Tower to little fanfare because supporters were waiting for him around the corner where security would allow, but couldn't even see him. Anti-Trump demonstrators were also there. NYPD buses were parked across the street between 56th and 57th along 5th Avenue, forcing the press a block away. Numerous metal barricades lined the streets. Earlier today, cameras were there as his motorcade left Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> to bring him to Palm Beach International Airport. He got out and waved, then boarded his private plane. While in the air, Mr. Trump posted numerous times on his Truth Social page, once again calling this a witch hunt. He landed at LaGuardia Airport and was whisked to Trump Tower very quickly before the evening rush hour. And at Trump Tower, it's believed he'll be meeting with his legal team to go over strategy ahead of tomorrow's court appearance. Dana? Tell us more about the, the police presence there around Trump Tower. Oh, sure, Dana. Very visible, uniformed officers everywhere. And, of course, those metal barricades we showed you in the NYPD buses. You know, Fifth Avenue here, though, never shut down. Cars were moving when former President Trump arrived, though he did come around a different way. The NYPD says there are no specific or credible threats at this time, but they are urging people to use mass transit, especially tomorrow, because a lot of roads around the courthouse will be closed. There will be rolling closures as he's transported there as well. Live in Midtown, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.